Guys, have you ever got an electric shock? Our whole body trembles, due to electric shock. Whenever we get an electric shock, electricity spreads throughout our body. But have you ever wondered, why we get electric shock? Whenever electric current passes through our body, two things happen. First of all the current finds the best conductor in our body. And he gets it, in the shape of a blood. Our blood acts like a conductor. Because hemoglobin is found in our blood. Our body hemoglobin, is made up of two things. First heme, means iron. And globin, means protein. Friends, we all know that iron is the most excellent conductor of electricity. And this same iron is also found in our body. If there is a deficiency of this iron in our body, then we call it, anemia. Whenever we feel current, the hemoglobin present in our body, starts running at the speed of current. Due to which, our brain receives many signals simultaneously, that too at current speed. And because of these many signals, our brain gets confused and, we get jerked. Because the signals that reach the current speed confuse our brain. Due to the current, the fluid in our body starts drying up. Due to which many big wounds are created on our body. If the current is very high, it can make our body very hot, and can also burn. Do you know, what is the speed of electricity? The speed of electricity is about 6696,000 miles per hour, which is many times more than the speed of sound. Do you know that, our heart also works because of electricity? An electrical node is found in our heart, which helps our heart to work continuously without getting tired. Do you know, what the voltage of thunder is in the sky? A thunder can hold over a 100 million volts of potential. The voltage potential in a lightning bolt is proportional to its length, and varies depending on the diameter of the bolt, air density and impurities of the air. Do you know that, water is not a conductor of electricity? Water does not actually conduct electricity. Impurities in water is what makes it conduct electricity. Electricity was introduced to Ethiopia in 1896 after Emperor Menelik II ordered two newly invented electric chairs as a form of humane capital punishment, and realized they were useless in his country without electricity. Do you know that, only 10% of energy in a light bulb is used to create light? 90% of its energy creates heat. Compact fluorescent light bulbs, use about 80%, less electricity than conventional bulbs and last up to 12 times longer. If you liked the video, like it and if you didn't like it, dislike it. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, to watch such interesting videos.